So welcome back everyone, Mike here. This is a beautiful red oak here. I'm about 40 inches right here. But I can trim all this off with a chainsaw because this log has a lot of taper to it. This tree right here, it came from uh, down by the pond. It just kind of blew over one day and fell into the pond. And it was a real chore getting it out of there. So this way I'm about 31. This whole part right here I can trim off with the saw. And this measures... Oh yeah, this is right at 12 feet actually. about 28 by 28 now. I'm going to trim this little piece off this corner here. It kind of flares out right here. So if you watched that video the other day, I used this uh, MS500i for the first time. It is absolutely incredible. It is. It's an amazing chainsaw. So much power and so fast. It's amazing. This will make some really nice, uh, really nice lumber out of this red oak right here. That's a big one. All right, it's uh, decision time. I'm not sure what I should do here. This log is heavy. I mean really heavy. I can just get it off the ground with the MX-5400. I think I could get it high enough to get it on the sawmill. But the mill, you know, it's not sitting on concrete, just sitting on stones. It's a whole lot of weight to be putting on there. And I don't need a 12-footer. What I need is a 10-footer. You know, like 10 feet, 5 inches long, something like that would be perfect for what I'm going to need this lumber for. So what I'm thinking is... I'm going to take a chunk off one end. I don't know if I should do it off the small end 
or the big end. It's really not going to matter, I guess. I need to think this through. All right, since I don't know what to do, I'm going to phone a friend here. What do you say? Ooh, look at this guy here. Look at this guy here. This is. Well, we're filming. What are we doing today, man? So let me tell you what we're doing here. I'm going to put you on the spot here. I got this big red oak here behind me, all right? It's about just under 12 feet long. I can barely pick it up. It's heavy. And I'm debating on cutting a piece off the butt end or the small end. I'll show you the log. Now, I need like 10 footers is what I need out of this log. So I don't need the 12 footers. So I can take a little bit off to get some weight off, all right? So I'm going to show you the log. And then you can make the decision. That way they'll all blame you if it's the wrong one and not me. You know what I'm saying? All the pressure. That's fine with me. So this is Nathan from Out of the Woods. Great channel. Check it out. I'm going to show him this log here, and we're going to see what he says. Can you see this, Nathan? Oh, yeah. it's a nice one there, bud. Yeah. So this end here was about uh, 40, 41 inches wide. I trimmed it up a little bit. That end down there is about 32, and I was debating on which end to take some weight off it. Plus, I don't need that long of a log. So what do you recommend? Uh, cut from the small end, leave that large end alone. How you gonna saw that? Wait, uh, I'm gonna plane saw it, but then quarter saw, just plane saw through the center, and then cut the center out, since I don't have a hydraulic mill like you. You know what I mean? Yeah, you need a hydraulic mill for that. I was gonna mention quarter saw. That's a perfect quarter saw log right there. If you get rid of that taper on the small end, that's a good one. So do you think that would be the way to go then? Plane saw through the center of it, and I would get probably, on four quarter stuff, I'd probably get, what, eight boards, then cut the center out and get some real nice quarter sawn on each side of it. Since I, I, absolutely right there. It's a nice straight log. The grain's going straight. The bark's straight. Okay. Get rid of the taper on the small end and try to center up that pith. Even though you don't have a hydraulic mill, you can still get that pith centered up and use your tractor. Right. Too. Yeah, I'll definitely get it centered up good, but okay. Good deal. That's a nice one, man. It's really good. How about your first? That one fell over in our pond last year. It was a bugger getting out of it. It, just, it was a perfectly healthy tree, and one day I went down there, and the whole thing was laying down, uprooted, and uh, about half of it was in the pond, and I got it all out of there. Well, be careful. Let me know how it goes. I will. I'm just trying to get it ready tonight here, and I may saw this up this weekend. But, yeah, these heavy ones are a, are a chore. That's a heavy log right there. A log right there will motivate you to get a hydraulic sawmill, Mike. Okay. <laughs> All right. Those heavy ones are a beast now. They're a bear. Yeah. Well, I appreciate the information, Nathan. Don't forget, check out Nathan's channel, Out of the Woods. He's a great uh, wealth of knowledge when it comes to sawmills. He's always my go-to guy. Help me out, guys. I'm almost to 100,000 subs. Nice. All right. All right. Have All right. Week, buddy. Thanks. Take care. See ya. Bye. All right. Straight from the horse's mouth. That's my go-to guy, Nathan. He says cut from the small end. I'm in agreement with that, so that's what we're going to do. Oh, boy. Where do you see this? If I didn't see her coming, my goodness, that's a good thing I saw her coming. It is. I don't like that at all. I don't like clowns. I never did like clowns, and I'm, I'm not a fan of that. It just keeps plastic, Mike. She tried terrifying Eva when she got off the bus. Listen, we have to wear, wear a mask. Just, <laughs> it's the new mandate. It's, it's the way it is. <laughs> I brought your battery. Oh, thanks. Yeah, so you can take that off now. It's freaking me out. Melissa is big on scaring people. And you're not even a huge Halloween fan, but you yeah, just take this opportunity. I like it for the, the candy. Yeah. But it's okay to have a little fun because it's just like a day or two. Yeah. You know, don't take it too seriously. You got to tell you, like even Ty, he saw the mask. He wasn't afraid. Um, he, I was more he's, afraid than him. Well, and he's more afraid of Mike than, than that. Yeah. yeah. So what I did here, Melissa, let me show you. This big old red oak here, it was too big to put on the mill. So I kind of cut this end, tapered it a little bit. You know, cut the taper off, I should say. Okay. I don't need 12 footers. I need law, or boards that are about 10 and a half feet. Okay. So I was debating on which side to cut off of that log. And I called Nathan from out of the woods. Oh, we yeah. FaceTime, and he said go with the small end. So that's what we're going to do. 
Plus, that'll be a great test for the uh, 500i right, right. plowing through this uh, okay. big oak. Good. So I'm going to do that right now before it gets dark. All right. <laughs> So that saw is just absolutely incredible. It really is. That's like a 31, 32 inch red oak plowed right through it. But anyway, right now I'm going to hop on the tractor, see how easy I can pick this up now. That one round I cut off probably weighs, I don't know, 250 pounds maybe. So that'll be the uh, next log on deck. By the way, is that where that saying came from? I'm not even sure. So I had left this uh, red oak in the back of the big tool rack for some additional ballast, which was a good idea. So this is a uh, pretty nice jag of red oak here. Everything you see here and what I have in the uh, back of the big tool rack is all from uh, what I split last night in the building after dark. Which by the way, if you didn't see that video, that worked out pretty good. I was telling everyone, you know, I was... Uh, it's getting dark so early. You know what I mean? I was falling asleep at 8.30 at night and waking up at 2.30 and up for the day. So last night, I split some firewood and then, you know, went in, got a shower, messed around, did a little editing, and went to bed about 10 o'clock. I'm going to try to do the same thing tonight. That way I won't get all jacked up. Well, there you have it. That is just shy of one face cord. You know a third of a cord and I carried that all down here between the uh, top dog firewood bucket and the big tool rack had I stacked it in the firewood bucket not just kind of thrown it in I could definitely carry a whole face cord uh, with the MX 5400 but anyway I'm sure you can tell it's getting dark right now so I'm gonna wrap this video up but before I do I want to thank everyone you know for watching the videos for participating by commenting and hitting that like button, all that stuff really matters, and we really appreciate it. And I think that's about it. So like I always say, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like button, click subscribe, and share them with your friends. Thanks.